uh, tonight is a night about cultural understanding, and that basically deals the entire Chaser team out of being able to talk about these things. But it does turn out that one of our colleagues from Sydney University, uh, who went on to be a successful comedian in his own right, didn't need four other people to write half a joke, um, uh, spent a, lot, a long time uh, living and working in Indonesia, and we thought that before we had the Chaser lecture, we should invite him to the stage to perhaps walk us through some of the uh, cultural sensitivities that we may encounter this evening. So ladies and gentlemen, to get us all you know, on the right PC path, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Sam McCool. Uh, selamat malam, selamat datang kepada bapa bapa dan ibu ibu semua yang terhormat. Uh, saya mohon semuanya menikmati hadiran ini. Uh, kalau makanan ini Australia tidak cukup enak, silakan tambah uh, kecap manis, kecap asin, sambal apa aja yang boleh, nggak apa-apa. Uh, terus terang aja, saya tidak sebenarnya suka sama orang Chaser itu. Uh, mereka sedikit PD, GR, goblok. Uh, ya, kamu mengerti, mereka tidak mengerti apa-apa, ya, boleh, tidak apa-apa. Uh, sebenarnya malam ini mungkin kamu itu semuanya bayar terlalu banyak. Harusnya tawar-menawar dulu, ya. Biar tidak bayar harga-harga tamu, harga turis. Harusnya bayar harga lokal, ya. Tough crowd. Oke. Okay. Hello. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am from the gradu a graduate from the Kevin Rudd School of Diplomacy and Cunning Linguistics. Kevin Rudd was actually uh, one of my mentors. I, I dreamt to be like Kevin, he's one of my inspirations. I dreamt that one day I too could be ousted as Prime Minister of Australia, not once but twice. I dreamt that I could run for the uh, bid for the UN Secretary General and, and lose that. I too hope that one day I can be the second ever polygot despot of Australia, ladies and gentlemen. I started tonight by saying Selamat Datang, that is Indonesian for welcome or safe coming, that's what it means, safe coming. I learned that uh, by watching Elle McPherson ads for Garuda Indonesian in the 1990s. <laughs> Some of you may remember Elle doing those ads. Selamat datang, she said. Now, Selamat datang, safe coming, is not really an appropriate slogan. If you've ever flown with Garuda, you realize it's more like false advertising. If Elle McPherson was still teaching me Indonesian, I'd still be a student, mate, I'll tell you. Um, I actually lived in Indonesia for five years, as Julian just said. Uh, it's still one of my top 10 favorite Southeast Asian countries. Thank you very much. Some of you can count, some of you have Google, that's great. For those that don't, there's actually only 11 Southeast Asian countries. There used to be 10, and then East Timor changed its Facebook status from complicated to single, thanks to the Australian Defence Force. Anyway, uh, I most, <laughs> thank you very much. I mostly got to live in, uh, in Bali. Has anybody been to Bali, lived in Bali? Okay, now I know who flies Jetstar, that's great. <laughs> Bali, of course, known as Australia's even more northern territory. I, uh, I lived there surrounded by bogans in Bintang singlets, which read, my other t-shirt to singlet too, mate. Uh, some of you might be those bogans by the sound of that reaction. Um, when you go to Bali, people often try and learn the local language. The, the main thing that most Aussies learn is, uh, is a Balinese phrase, singla pis, which actually means I have no money which they think is kind of blending in, but actually it's worse because by the fact that you're there, you already have money, more, more, more money than them and you're showing off. So please don't learn that. Um, it's, it's better if I get the words right, isn't it? Um, I, it's, it's easy to learn Indonesian. I'll give you some examples. Uh, here's some Indonesian for you. Kolusi, korupsi, nepotisme, which means collusion, corruption, and nepotism. <laughs> <laughs> She's clapping because she knows what I'm talking about. Um, that's not only uh, Indonesian, that was also the prevailing political st system that I I met when I arrived, and then while I was there, I witnessed the birth of Indonesian democracy. And long before Australia ever voted in minority prime ministers like Kevin Rudd or Julian Gillard, the Indonesians had three minorities as president. They had Habibi, they had Gustur, and they had Megawati. Here is one of the world's, well, the world's most populous Muslim nation voting in three minorities, a woman, a blind man, and a puppet. Of course, there you go, there's a puppet. <laughs> of course, uh, Mega Wadi's family name is Sukarno Putri, which means daughter of Sukarno, who was the first and original uh, Indonesian president. Now, I don't know about you, I always thought nepotism, mixing nepotism and democracy is a bit unethical, but it worked for the Kennedys and it worked for the Bushes, and it almost worked for the Clintons last week. 
Too soon? Fair enough. Um, those of you that know, the new president of Indonesia is a guy called Joko Widodo, or Mr. President Jokowi. Uh, he also happens to be the spitting image of Barack Obama. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not the first time Asians have made a cheaper copy of the original. <laughs> but at least uh, when, when Barack Obama's out of a job at the end of the year, he might be able to do some job sharing with uh, President Widodo or at least fill in, be his body double during his YouTube clips. Politics aside, ladies and gentlemen, I had a great time uh, while I was in Indonesia. It was, it's an amazing place. I love being there. I had all sorts of wonderful experiences, but one of the most memorable was actually acting in an Indonesian soap opera, what they call Sinetron. Uh, I, I was in a show called Gerhana. Uh, that's not me in the middle, but I've, I've aged a bit since then. I actually got to play a villain called Manusia Buaya, which means crocodile man. Uh, you might see that clip in just a moment. Uh, Crocodile Man alongside uh, Ratu Ula, who was the Snake Queen. There we go. That's me when I was younger. That's the high-tech cosmetics that they use there. Uh, so basically, it was an Indonesian soap opera. It was kind of like Neighbours if, uh, if Neighbours were allowed to breed with dangerous animals and had better actors. Oh, okay. A bit touchy on that one, were we? <laughs> Don't worry about all the political stuff. They ain't block Neighbours, mate. Take it easy. So uh, while I was there, I got to experience a lot of uh, fantastic Indonesian traditions, and I think it's important to learn from other cultures. Uh, one of those, of course, was Ramadan, where you fast for a whole month, don't eat anything. Uh, Nyepi Day, I don't know if anyone's been there in Bali for Nyepi Day, which is a silent day. You, you have to spend 24 hours in silence. It's extremely difficult to do for most of us. Um, I think we can all learn from that. I think um, perhaps it would be good if, uh, you know, if Australia learned a little bit of that, if we applied Ramadan and the silent day here, maybe we could get rid of Kyle Sanderlands in a single swoop. <laughs> Cheap shot, I know, but anyway. Uh, tonight we're here to raise money for uh, Article 19, of course, freedom of expression or freedom of speech. It is a basic human right. I wouldn't be here if we didn't have it. However, ladies and gentlemen, freedom of speech is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it allows for, uh, for groups like the Russian women's rights advocates, Pussy Riot, on the other hand, it allows for Donald Trump, the pussy grabber. We really got to weigh it up. I mean, I'm not sure if the net effect is positive or not. But anyway, I think that the freedom of speech might benefit by one amendment. Perhaps before people like Donald Trump get to speak, they might have to spend 24 hours in silence so they can think about what they're going to say. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've got somewhere to go. I've got another show in two days' time. I'm going to spend 24 hours in silence. You've been great. Terima kasih. Selamat datang. Thank you very much.